for my suck ass. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll give me a second. Okay. Uh. Music is a big part of this game, you need to have it very loud. <laughs> uh, PC, you don't want to look at like a PlayStation 1 game. Uh, select standard. That's hard, what's wrong with this? <laughs> standard. Well, why do you want to go standard? Because it's the standard way of playing the game. Yeah, it's, it's, it says it I recommend it for first time players. Less strict gameplay experience. That's no, in a game like this, you want to have the uh, normal ultra kill experience, trust me. Can I at least lower the difficulty if it gets too hard? Yeah. I'm so upset that you looked up the video of Unreal Tournament and you just showed me the gameplay of me being so shit with the mouse and keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn kill, you have to go all hard on my mouse and keyboard skills. <laughs> yes. Uh, here on it. Uh, like, uh... Bind it to a different? Yeah, you can rebind everything. Uh, controls, a whole C is literally nothing. I'll slide. Hit C. Okay, good, 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 good. I want everything super close. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you guys like stretch your fingers all the way like Fantastic Four guy, but yeah. I get my gun.
to <laughs> what? I thought I can control the slide, you know. No. Why, am I blind? Yes. How am I blind? Okay, okay. <laughs> really cool. Oh, wait, hold on, wait, wait. I, I am, I'm not even looking at the tutorial thing. <laughs> <laughs> hold right. <laughs> Copy that on the video. Five minutes ago, it's <laughs> Wow, I, yeah, I'm not used to reading the tours, but I thought I was just like, all right, let's go, that's it. Read, nigga, read! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fucking god. Ah, uh, you don't do down like that? No. This isn't turbo uh, overkill. <laughs> Shoot the glass. But that again with lots of environmental kill opportunities, so I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. Okay. Also, yeah, headshots are, I think, in this game. Like additionally, when you're close to an enemy, you can punch him while shooting. Like, like you can shoot and punch all at the same time. For more, do uh, for you're going on the secret hunt. <laughs> Wait, there's a secret there. I mean, uh, did you hear that humming sound? Ah. Oh. Basically, uh, the way this game works is that when you deal close range damage, a blood comes pouring out of enemies and you heal with that blood. That's how you regain health in this game. Oh my god, look at how it just covers my health for, like, you know... I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> Yes, 
Yo, I panicked, shut up. Rambo, you can uh, dash in the air and like wall jump your way back up. Oh, I'm not used to that. I was thought it's screwing something funny. Uh, you can vault multiple times. <laughs> but yeah, you can dash uh, three times in the air, or like as many times as like you just st you have stamina, and then also you can vault multiple times. Is the game control so it's a park controller or something? Uh, I think so, maybe? Can, can you check? <laughs> well, I'll check us over quickly, the options. <laughs> okay, well, let me see real quick here. Ultra kill controller. I also mean it's a need. Uh, does anyone else use a control to play Ultra Killer? Am I the only one in a million? Uh, yeah, it does work with a controller. Yeah, but I think you might have to set up the controls. To ultra kill is a game you definitely don't want to play with controller, but up to you, of course. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll just make two. You just have to deal damage when you're anywhere close to the enemy. That uh, doesn't matter if it's shooting, punching, or whatever other what damage things. <laughs> I was so wow. close. I am not fast like you, but I can see what you mean about it being dark, dark souls, kid. Remember, you have your dash over here, to dodge shit. Like dash, wall jump, uh, everything to uh, one shot. That's not the issue with me. I don't have an issue of doing that, you know. It's the issue of, what do you call it, tracking someone with a mouse? <laughs> uh, the game has an audio assistant you can enable, or like a aim assist. If you need that. At this point, I don't mind for this. <laughs> They're putting these down to really go ease off, yeah, please. Okay, where's that aim assist? I am horrible. <laughs> uh, go to assist. And then enable auto aim. Let's see how badly this is. Oh, you can do it 20%. I did it! I am also ashamed for using aim assist for a massive keyboard! <laughs> but I cannot aim for shit, this game is way too fast for me. I will say faster than Doom Eternal. <laughs> uh, congratulations, you only died 7 times in the tutorial.
Okay. Unless it's cyber grind. But the cyber grind is like an endless uh, wave mode. Still have the second revolver though. Uh, Let's see. Uh, yeah, crazy. What? What? But uh, basically, the uh, blue revolver has the uh, fire state piercing shot which uh, penetrates all enemies, while the green one here, you toss the coin. If you shoot the coin, it seeks out the uh, nearest enemy weak point. Uh, oh! <laughs> uh, uh. Amazing! <laughs> When you give me a gun to play with, I just kill myself. <laughs> I am so bad at the game. I don't know if you regret gifting me this or just are happy just that you can see me play and just see the pity going about. Well, definitely happy to see you suck ass. Ow. Oh my god, that's right in front of me. No blood on your box from living enemies, you can't cheese it. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm hoping so. Oh. Ah, so you actually shoot it? Yeah. Uh, on the gun's uh, screen, you see how many coins you have available to toss. Like the recharge over time. Oh, uh, what screen? Yeah, the gun has like a screen that with the green dots. When you throw a coin, it consumes one. Oh, and it shows you how, uh, okay, yeah. okay. Okay, so it's gonna be like that space where the ammo count is on my gun. Okay, yeah, but you have vi visual indicators anyway, telling you like whenever something is ready. Oh, go up there. What? How many? You can leave Walsh on my max of three times. But I jump onto the statue's head and then jump up there. Grab it, how do I grab it though? Punch. What do I do with it? Just punch people with it? <laughs> no, uh, you just take it with you for now. I'll, t I'll tell you where to put it then. I 
mine. It's just a secret. Like a game has secret levels and all. Also, for this level here, I temporarily disable aim assist. And I'll just play. Punching with the skull temporarily uh, illuminates the area like a little bit more. No, like uh, when you hold it, no. I'm supposed to go back or something? No, you just went past the. Yeah. Just look around. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> I, you, 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 you know what you're doing, kid. You're an asshole. I hate you. <laughs> it's just a little secret mission. I don't even know how, it won't take too long. Well, basically, all you have to do is like grab the skull and place them on the right pedestals. Like, you grab, like, you just hit the right finger to blue one where you uh, grabbed it, and then uh, put it on the uh, other blue pedestal there, and now you just go do the same thing with the red one. But uh, as, as with everything in this game, uh, this uh, level also has sound cues. If you constantly shoot, you don't hear how. I guess. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, if you hear that uh, noise getting loud and loud, that means the monster is nearby. You can repel the monster by shooting it, but you don't want to shoot constantly in order to hear, you know, where the monster is. Like, when the, you know, that humming gets louder, it means it's closer to you. And when it spots you, it also makes a distinct noise. You can punch uh, periodically to make the, uh, to, to brighten up the skull a little bit.
Ow. Oh, not the right one. It's somewhere in the maze. See, it wasn't that a nice experience. Shut up, you, you, I knew what you were going for, I just didn't expect it. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Mimi. Yeah, you can shoot the coin at any time during flight. Uh, you, it just uh, the coin cannot touch the ground on the wall, otherwise it becomes like unusable. Basically, uh, the, the coin uh, gets its trajectory adjusted depending on what you do. If you jump, the coin also flies high. If you go down, the coin also goes down low and such. Like the coin follows your movement. Just like um, Dark Souls bosses, uh, all the bosses you also have a pad on. Uh, sh shoot the shotgun then punch. Not like that, the normal shot. <laughs> you basically punch your own shotgun shells to give them a boost.
uh, the, the shotguns are not uh, very effective on anywhere long range. Like, when you use the shotgun, you always want to be pretty much in the enemy's face with it. Definitely a completely new thing for me as well when I played for the first time, but it's definitely worth it. It's such an awesome game. Basically, that's the order number because basically every weapon will has like several different variations. If you cycle through them with whatever the E button or whatever it is, it will basically cycle through them in the numbers order. start off with bosses become normal enemies. Ah, come uh, on, I thought we killed them. I'm gonna chat if it lands directly on them.
But then the second shotgun you bought that a pump charge becomes very devastating in close range. Basically, when you uh, press right click, it uh, pumps like an additional shot. And basically, the more shots you pump in, the more pellets will come out, but the more inaccurate it gets. I don't over pump it, or else it explodes. <laughs> I was just gonna say it. You, you, pump, you basically you pump it a max of two times. Like you see it on the bar there. Yeah, no, and now you can find it creates like more pellets and all. So that is basically yeah, really, really. It. Well, yeah, uh, like. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. I thought I was gonna launch a grenade uh, something no, like No, no, that. that's the other one. Uh. Yeah, but yeah, it literally explodes when you do that. I mean, and the thing is, like, sure, it damages yourself, but it's also very good at taking out enemies. Like, if you find yourself surrounded by enemies, that explosion takes out all the enemies nearby. So even if it may hurt you, it still has a function. But yeah, uh, the pump charge shotgun is very, very good against big enemies with big hitboxes. Like, if they t absorb all the pallets, it's gonna do tons of damage. Like this guy, as example. Okay. Well, you gotta hit him as well. <laughs> See, now I crushed him. <laughs> If you find yourself having several enemies bunched up, you know, feel free to also use the uh, grenade. Like, you know, launch the shotgun grenade there. And if you want to cause some even more havoc... You can literally shoot your own grenade out of the air.
fuck is he calling out? Yeah. Yeah.
I saw him holding it for too long. <laughs> Hard. 
I mean, that was hard for me at the beginning as well, but as you get more used to the game's mechanic, well, you just, yeah, get better. <laughs> Why don't you throw a con into the mountain and make a wish? I found them in. Really? <laughs> How did you figure that out? something? Are not holding the button? Yeah. I wasn't holding the button for me before. <laughs> I want to take a step back over a better overview of the screen.
puzzles. That make a slanted. Slanted. Yeah, slanted. Give you a hint? No, 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 I can figure it out myself. Are you sure? Yes, I can figure it out myself. I need no baby mode. The famous is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no baby mode has Amos is done, wants to play an easy difficulty at all. <laughs> totally not baby, yeah? And you know I don't do well with lots of keyboards. <laughs> Alright, give me a hint, fucking hell. Basically, uh, the one that is literally below the starting point, you want to get that one first and then go to the right. See, it wasn't that hard. Uh, yes, it was hard. Stupid! <laughs> oh, that girl's gonna be in a real pickle. I figured it out. Of course I figured it out, I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you wish. But, uh, but basically, the red crumbs can only be had by the red. Uh, can only be got by the red line. The blue ones can only be had by the blue one. But the white ones can be gotten by either color. Yeah, you put it accidentally on the red, uh, what's it called, uh, cross instead of the blue one. I feel like this was waste of coding. <laughs> I mean, sure, coist or whatever, but come on, man. How dare you make me use my brain? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Hell yeah! Why would you do these deaths? <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey. Hey. <laughs> no, no, it's final boss time. Wait, are you talking about this one? Yeah. No, I, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was just wondering, I wonder what the boss is gonna be. Uh, shit. Got lucky. <laughs> to be honest, I was kind of like randomly doing it. It's like, see what works. <laughs> <laughs> failure after failure after failure. Uh -huh. No, no one want to buy my character. <laughs> well. Teletubbies don't want to talk to you. What? <laughs> How is that related to Teletubbies? They look nothing alike. Oh. There's nothing there for you to see. I have specialized skills. <laughs> <laughs>
weird if development would hide something behind this waterfall. some stupid stuff in the panic. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Grillo is actually smart in this case, he knows he can't trust himself. <laughs> As it said, it's a magnet which attracts all the nails.
Well, you have enough health, you can just pump charge yourself up there. Uh, basically, uh, bring out the other shotgun. Oh, not that one. Uh, overcharge it, look down into the ground and then just shoot. Just ground on ground and what? Shoot? Yeah, just shoot. It's, uh, the secret is not in this level. Basically, you have to uh, activate a bunch of like those switches throughout the uh, next levels, and then you unlock like a big secret at the end. Coins always uh, ricochet into the nearest enemy weak point, like, and can even do so with enemies that you, you personally don't see as long as the coin has vision, so to say. Uh, you, you can't do this yet, you gotta come back here with a different weapon later.
Nice one. <laughs> 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 we'll be like, oh hey, look at this juicy 200 health. Let me just erase it by uh, killing myself. Oh, like killing myself on Dreadlight. Gorilla. Gorilla never changes. So I'm jumping into the flame row. <laughs> but uh, you want to be careful with those uh, street sweepers. You want to keep a distance from them, they kill you pretty quick. I'm used to, I mean, Doom is fast, but it's not this fast where I'm like shaking my hand or arm aggressively. <laughs> yeah, hence why I say it like Ultra Kill is another step up from what you're used to in Doom Eternal. No. <sighs> All right, let me exercise my arm right here. <laughs> Yeah, Just do your favorite motion a few times, you know, stroke up and down. Hell yeah. That's gonna take the easy path. Wait, what? Well, that's what it said there in the text. Only one skull is required to open up this door. If you do not seek hardship, stay indoors. Oh, no, there ain't shit. <laughs> Remember, don't forget to punch your shotgun pellets. That does good uh, chocolate for this damage.
Так, бары. So this whole time you never make use of the slam, and then when you go over a death pit, then you do it. Classic <laughs> 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 Maybe shoot the cards in this week's button.
actually the first person so hard in the third person. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Yeah, it's not that they got a second phase, but it's like when certain enemies reach like a certain low health or whatever, then they become enraged. That, that kind of sounds like a second second phase. <laughs> I mean, the health bar doesn't refill, so. So it doesn't in Dark Souls, the health bar doesn't even refill, but they just insert sort, of, sort of a rage or a second phase. Let's see. What's all this money for? Why can't I buy anything? You can buy a pill for the gun. Or the alternative version. Ooh. What's this do? Uh, basically, you wanna fire it, and once that bar there, like uh, the bar on the screen is full, you wanna press right click uh, to yeah, spam out shots more. But basically, you fire it till the bar is full, and then you fire it again, and then you press right click, and it fires like super fast for when the heat sink is full, basically. That's evil within music. Why do you have evil within music in here? <laughs> Copyrighted music. I see this is where you gotta do the secret thing from, like when you find the buttons. Oh.
that. Mm -hmm. That startled me. <laughs> You're seeing shit. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Just skip the skulls and went through the window. <laughs> ow, ow. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, if you want to know the differences, while the Knuckle Blaster uh, can shoot enemies away, damages enemies and such. And, it, and you can also do some fancy projectiles boost with it. But the blue arm uh, allows you to parry pretty much every enemy attack, if you can get the timing right. Oh, there's parrying in this game? Yeah, you, you did a couple times accidentally already. <laughs> uh, of course, you never realized it, but yeah, and the blue arm allows you to parry pretty much every enemy attack. Again, I said, if you get the timing right. Dodge to jump up against the wall and then wall jump back up. Okay, I'm not used to that stuff, okay. <laughs> well, get used to it. <laughs> Yeah, 
I was gonna say, how many times do you wanna fall into the same hole? Okay, it's hard. Checkpoint. Better rough no. <laughs> You didn't get tired of playing this game? No. No, no, like, like your arm, your arm went noodly. No. Your arm didn't go on noodly? No. <laughs> it does save, right? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Oh, is it this one right here? Yeah, standard. Standard 2-2, two, two. okay. Ugh, my army is new. 